is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to do the front post and back post double crochet. And to do this, you can do this with any size hook and any size yarn. What you want to do is chain an even number of stitches. So for this tutorial, I'm going to two, four, six, eight, ten. You want to do ten and then plus two because you're going to have to go into the third chain from the hook. So we're going to be doing double crochet. So you want to yarn over, find that third chain from the hook and do a double crochet. And you want to do a double crochet in each chain So at the end of this, you should have uh, 10 stitches if you did the same as me. So just go ahead and keep uh, double crochet down your chain and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm done. And now at the end of your row, you want to chain two and then turn. Now let me get just a little closer for you. Now the difference between doing a regular double crochet and working on the post is by now I'm sure you've done lots of double crochets and at the top you'll see the stitches that you usually work in which is you go underneath each stitch, your front loop and back loop and then you'll just do a double crochet, double crochet. The difference when you're doing a front post and back post is you're going to be working on the post. And what is a post? This is the post. The post is the actual stitch itself. So you have the, you have the stitch on the top that you would work on and then you have the stitch you just did which is the double crochet. So instead of working in the stitch at the top, you're going to be grabbing up the stitch itself that you just did and working uh, whatever you want off of it. And since we're going to be doing double crochets, front post and back post, then you're going to be doing the double crochet on the actual stitch. Now, the difference between a front post and a back post is one, the front post is when you push it to the front. So if you were to do a double crochet like this, you'd be doing a front post. And when you want to do a back post, the difference is you're coming from the back and you're pushing the stitch back. So see, there's all your stitches, but you can't see this one because you've pushed it to the back. So now the post is on the back of your work. So that's why it's a back, back post, because you're pushing it to the back of your work. And to push it through the back of your work, like I say, you always go in from the back and then push it to the back by going in between the two stitches in between here these between the, the stitches you're just going to be pushing it back and going back in between the next two stitches and when you're doing a front post you go in from the front and then you push it up get your hook in between the next two stitches like that and now you're on the front of your work versus the back so that's what you're going to be doing you're going to be doing a double crochet. So this is the back of our work, but since we're going to be working this direction, it's going to be our front. So the very first stitch of the round, we chain two. And it's, I don't think it's even possible to do a back. I guess you could if you push the post back like this and just go into this side one you could do a back post but it doesn't really look like a back post I've always found it easier to go in from the side and just pull up to do a front post double crochet in the first stitch it's just easier and then when you want to do a back post remember you come in from the back push the stitch back and do a double crochet. Then again, 
you want to yarn over or when you want to make a front go in through the front and pull up that stitch and do a double crochet then again if you want to go and make a back post you go in from the back and push it back the post back now I'm going to show you how to do the front post and then the back post in slow motion so first I'll be doing the front post And then that's it. I'm just going to go ahead and finish my row. I'm alternating front post and back post here. The reason for this is because I want to show you two different methods. Okay, we've come to the end. So we're on the last stitch. Go ahead and come in from the back again because this one's going to be a back post. Remember, you want a back post, you come in from the back. You want a front post, you go in through the front. You're inserting your hook through the front. Now, always chain two at the end and turn. Now, you have two options that you can do for a pattern when you're doing the front post and back post. One is you can see that when you did a front post back here, it's now pushed back when you turn it. So facing this way, even though this was a front post when we did it on this side, it's now a back post on this side because it's pushed back. And the ones that are pushed forward are considered front post when you're looking at it like this. So you have an option if you want to, to continue with the pattern of the ones that are pushed back and then one's pushed forward then every time you see one that's pushed back like that then you'll just want to go ahead and do it again by doing a back post and the ones that are pushed forward like this you'll want to go ahead and do a front post on them and I have a hat here just a second where I did this with. I haven't done the tutorial for this hat. I'm not sure I will, but you can see all these are the front post. And I just, every time it was pushed forward and I, and I was ready to work this row, if it was pushed forward like this, I would do a front post. And this, as you can see, is back. So every time I would do it from this side, I would go into the back and do a back post. And then when you turn it, you can see now when you're working it from this side, the lighter color will be the front post and the darker color will be the back post. So every time you come to one of these, 
you'll push it forward into a front post. And that's what I'm showing you here. If you always go with what's already here, you have a stitch that's pushed forward, then you can do your front post there, and then you'll create a pattern like this, where you always have a line of pushed forward and a line pushed back. Now there's an option of alternating it, where every time you see a back section, back post, then you can do a front post on that back post. And every time you see a front pushed out section, you can do a back post on those. So you're basically doing the opposite of what you see. And it creates its own look. Whoa. Let me do a few rows of this real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I just wanted to give you a few more notes here. So if you are beginning a row and you're doing the opposite and uh, it's a front post here, to do a back post all you have to do is just push, push it back. Wait, I can't see it so well. All you want to do, because see this is the, the, if you want to do a front post on this back stitch, but this front stitch, the first one, you want to push it back. So basically you just want to put your hook in between the two, two stitches here to, from the beginning. So this is a front post. You want to make it a back post. Just go in between the two stitches, the first two stitches, and do a double crochet. And that's how you can turn it to a, uh, a back post. Then of course this next one, which is pushed back, you want to make it a front post. Just pull it to the front. Do a double crochet. Now on the ends, every time you chain two to turn, you want to treat it like it's one stitch because you'll do chain two and then you'll do the double crochet right, you know, next. You just treat the chain two and the double crochet as one stitch. So you'll want to work your stitch, grab that whole thing, and then you'll do whatever you want to do and then you'll chain two and turn again. So it's kind of hard to see. I have a, it's going to change colors in a minute, and then I'll, I'll give you another look at it. Okay, I went ahead and did it for a few more rows, and as you can see, through the color changes, it has a bit of a weaved look. So when you're doing the front post and your back post, this is what it looks like. You alternate it every round, but this is what it looks like. If you always do a front post where it's pushed up, pushed forward, which is a front post, and then the back ones pushed back or a back post. So you'll always do a back post on the back post and a front post on a front post. And this is what it looks like if you do the opposite. Every time there's a one pushed back, you push it forward to do a front post. And every time there's one that's pushed forward, you push it back to do a back post on it. And you get kind of a weaved waffle look. But it's all the same stitch, it's just how you decide to use it. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful and that you can now master the front post and back post double crochet. Thank you so much for watching.